Alright, this tutorial comes as a request to find out how to do um, animated materials in Maya. This is a very simple um, material to change colors of an object and also to make the objects disappear on keyframes. And this is kind of the result that you can get. So to achieve this, let's delete. Alright, so you start with whatever model you want select the uh, model and assign it a new material or the current material that you have to it. In this case we're choosing a blend material. You have a lot of controls that you can change in the blend material. Um, you can definitely control it from the attribute editor but you won't be able to see the keyframes. So in order to see it you need to open up your Hypershade um, editor. So here we have blend 2. We're going to rename that to demo material. You would call it whatever your object is named in this case. Um, so to start off we're going to select the first frame. So I'm going to move this off to the side so we can see the object. Alright. No, don't put anything. Alrighty. So uh, we're going to do just a two second animation here so we're going to set our um, timeline to 48 frames. Uh, so at frame 1, we're going to set everything at 0. We're going to choose colors. Let's choose blue. And we're going to hit um, on the color here. We're going to create a set key. And when you do this and you have the demo material selected, you'll see the frames. Again, if you do it in the attribute editor, uh, you will not be able to see the keyframes. So you just have to select it here in the hypershade material, select color, blue, okay, and we're going to set key. We're going to copy that, copy it, we're going to paste it. Alright, and then frame 24, which is the halfway mark, we're going to change the color. So at this point, we're going to choose red. We're going to have a quick pulley siren. And when you hit play, nothing's going to happen because I have it set up as, um, well, we I, I want it to blend. So in this case, um, it's not going to really change because I have it set up to stepped. So we're going to stop that uh, and we're going to double click the timeline, right click, change the tangents from stepped to auto. And when you hit play, you'll see it transition and it'll even do the in-between colors. So it's pretty cool there. Other attributes you can edit on here. Uh, you can do your transparency, your um, eccentricity, reflectivity, all sorts of everything that's available here as your attributes. You can change those. So um, I also want to let's say make it invisible. So frame one, I'm going to change the transparency. I'm going to create a set key. So I want it to be visible at the beginning. Um, at frame 24, I want my transparency to be completely invisible. And then at frame, frame 48, I'm going to copy frame 1 because it's the same. Oops. Copy frame 1 and paste it. Again, but when you play it, it's not going to shift because there's no, uh, the, the splines or the, um, the tangents aren't correct. So now that we fixed them, you'll see them transition from uh, completely transparent to not. Okay, so once you have it set up where it's, um, the transparency is working, you do run into this problem where at the point that it's transparent, the eccentricity and specular roll-off is still affecting it. Um, so you'll see just the reflection on there. Um, you can change that uh, two ways. One, you can change turn off the specular roll-off. So we see that at the beginning and the end it's 700. Um, we can set a key for that. Set key and set key. And then at uh, 24, we're going to make that zero. Again, it's not going to operate if you don't change the tangents. So auto, just to see it in real time. And then you can see it rolling off. 
and lastly the if you want to change the um, some, sometimes you might not want to necessarily um, change it to disappear or from one to the other you might just want to change the quality of some feature so for in this case we're going to use the eccentricity uh, which is the quality of the specular roll-off so we're going to change the eccentricity we're going to set it at 300 at the beginning 300 at the end and in the middle we're going to change it to um, zero so you can get a very glossy finish and again change the tangents to auto and you can see the the quality of there the eccentricity is kind of changing as it progressively diminishes